Today's news, Pacbone promises fans to continue singing a new update. Painting K-pop stream happening right now, the final one of 2016 most likely. So many of you tuned in last week to listen to K-pop and see this very talented young lady paint a masterpiece. Thank you. It was. It was a beautiful Korean winter scene. So click here or click here to hang out with everyone, listen to K-pop, and follow her on Twitch. Celebrate. 2016 is going to be out of here. Recently on posts to Twitter and Instagram, Pac Bum made announcements about what she's doing, I think. Yes, she's going to be a professional singer. Well, she is a professional singer and that isn't going to change. Why do you think that she hasn't been posting regularly until now, if you can call one tweet per week regular? Like, what do you think the thinking she has is for her long drought and now come back to social media? Well, I think she's being very selective and putting things out slowly to start to build up hype because sometimes the more you pull back, the more people want to see things. And I think this also gives her a chance to put her focus on other things, which fingers crossed, I'm hoping is new music and new solo stuff. In 2017. In 2017. Although I, I will be happy if it's 2018. I just want more future Pacbom projects. The most recent updates to Twitter, December 10th, she posted a photo where she looked kind of sad, which made me sad. We got like 11,000 retweets, some crazy number. And people just see Pac Bomb and go ding. And then there was another post, a photo, more recently, where it was out of focus, but people still love seeing it. And in the age of the selfie, I think it's kind of interesting that she's like, dink, oh, this is fuzzy, I don't care. Post to Twitter. It does throw mystery, at least into my own thinking, because you can make a perfect photo or at least an in-focus photo with all the technology that we have, or you can take them over and over until it's at least in focus. Well, there's something artistic about that whole thing. And maybe she is sad. Maybe she's working through a whole lot of stuff. She did just leave her company. She did leave 21, which has been such a vital part in her life for so long. That had to be hard. And she's seeing all her other people from 21 that she's friends with and they're starting their own individual careers. I know Minzy's supposed to be coming out with a new album in 2017, probably. It hasn't been finalized, but she has had some very strong suggestions as to that way. CL just finished her tour, and Dara is doing some stuff in the Philippines. Making waves in the Philippines, for sure. All three of them, yeah. And so Pac Bomb is probably yearning for the spotlight a little bit more recently. I mean, she's one of the original K-popers, K-pop idols from 2017. 2006. 10 years plus she's been doing this. And it sort of appears to me that she peaked around 2010. Well, she didn't peak in 2010, but she did kind of peak with her own solo stuff in 2010. If you didn't know, Pac Bom actually has a very successful solo career on her own, but she hasn't really done anything since 2013. She has five singles, three of which have charted as number one in Korea. One in 2009, You and I, 2011's Don't Cry, and 2013, she did a collab with Ehi of All I Want For Christmas Is You. But she's also done a lot of other collab work. She was a featured artist in eight songs, three of which also charted at number one in Korea. 2007, Along My Ways with Red Rock. 2010, Oh Yeah with GD and Top. Any Big Bang fans out there? And 2012, she was also in Up with Epic High. That 2009 You and I MV, which is actually posted on two different YouTube channels, YG's official YouTube channel and 21's channel in different years, which is a bit strange. It is one of the sickest K-pop songs I think I've ever heard. The MV is great, but the song is as good as any K-pop song ever, at least to me. I can't believe today's the first day I think I've ever listened to it because of you. Yeah, I was like, hey, let's listen to this since we're gonna be talking about Pac Bom. And you were like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. It is a very good song and it won multiple awards in 2009 and 10. I, it won an Mnet award and it won a Psy World award. So Psy World, wow. Do you guys know Psy World? That was Korea's MySpace. <laughs> Oh my god. I know some of you are like me in that you got into K-pop more recently and if you have and if you have not heard the U and I song, I absolutely encourage you to go and search it and listen to it right now. That song is fucking just 
Yeah, I want to listen to it right now. <laughs> it's a little sad. The premonition of the whole song, the premise of the song, is a little sad, but it is an amazing K-pop song. And Park Bom is an extremely talented vocalist. She's probably one of the best, if not well, I wouldn't say she's the best, but she's up there in the top like five top 10 vocalists out of South Korea. She's got this amazing powerhouse voice and she hasn't been able to really fully express it. When you work for a company, you sign over your name and your image and you're- Over there. Over there. And you have to do what they want you to do. You release when they want you to release. And yeah, you have some creative control, but you don't have full creative control of when you put your music out. And she's definitely had to pull back a lot especially since everything went on with her bringing Adderall into the South Korea from the US and there was this whole drug scandal ordeal because girl has like ADD or ADHD and so she needed her meds. That definitely has hindered her career thus far. Her solo career. Well, and her joint career with 21. But I think that in 2017 and further on in the future that she's got Tremendous potential. Comment down below if you're an old school K-pop fan that's been listening to Pac Bum for a long time now, or if you're one of those people that's more, well, a little bit more like me who's gotten into K-pop in say the last year, year and a half or so, and you still like Pac Bum, but you didn't grow up or you didn't start listening to K-pop when she was releasing because, man, I feel like it's two different worlds. And we know this Pac Bum recently as this person who's gotten a little bit of trouble and is, out of the spotlight and hopefully she makes a comeback, but who knows what she's gonna do. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Comments down below, click the like button while you're down there. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications and don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it, we're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.